What is going on guys? FM here. Welcome to the final episode of The Motley Crew on the FM17 beta. Yeah, I've decided not to carry it on for now because it wasn't only going to be a beta save for a season. So I hope you're not too disappointed. I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, who knows, maybe maybe going forwards in the future I might update I might play on a bit and maybe update a little bit on what's occurred and stuff but uh, I don't know I don't really very often manage crew on football manager um as a permanent save I don't know it just I, d I don't know why I just don't do it it's just one of those things I guess but anyway enough of that shandango rubbish i don't even know what that word means uh we've got the player of the season awards up in our face right now and as you can see bakiogo won it it was very evenly spread this year bakiogo's got it ainley comes second with 28 guthrie you see i think kawambi should have been in there dagnall cooper uh, I think there's a lot of players that could have been in there, so it shows how close it was this season. But congratulations to Bakiogo on collecting that with 35% of the votes. We'll have a little look at his stats uh, in terms of games and stuff going forward in a minute. Goal of the season, George Cooper against Crawley. Now, I believe... I could be, is this one the free kicks? It could be one the free kicks, but I could be also incorrect in my assumption that it is one of the free kicks. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So, it's not a free kick, but here's Dagnall. Cooper controls it, gets it out of his feet and smoshed it. Oh, he smoshed it, didn't he? Nice little goal, that. Very pleased. Very pleased that he got that one because it helped us in our little trip to the promotion place. Apparently, Oliver Davies got signing of the season. I can think of a thousand and six things wrong with that, but okay, whatever. <laughs> um, probably because he's the only permanent sign that we made that played a decent amount of games. Uh, McQueen didn't work out and Goo didn't work out and Walton... Uh, yeah, Walton. Sorry, I thought, I thought for some of these I thought Waters. Walton was the uh, the backup in case of emergencies, which he did the job well. And then Callum Ainley, 19-year-old Callum Ainley, was superb all season, got young player of the season. So those are the awards. Uh, team of the season is a back year, uh, in a back year, sorry, uh, Dagnall, Cooper, Bingham, Ainley, Kawamia, Bakiogo, Ray, Guthrie, Turton and Garrett. So nice little bit there for them. In the uh, review of the season, Crow Alexandra had been expected to be in the running for the playoff places, but performances, but performed, sorry, even better than expected and secured promotion. I didn't read that very well. I apologise. I was saying what I thought it should say instead of what it did say. It's just something I am guilty of very often. Uh, our match of the season was our 4-1 win over Donny. Our worst moment was our 3-1 defeat to Hartlepool. Average attendance of 4,983, which is, I believe, a lot higher than what we're getting in real life at the moment due to issues uh with management and uh total players use 35 which is actually the highest in league two interesting uh the fa cup we lost in the first round to scunny efl we lost uh, in the second round to qpr we were the runner-up in league two and knocked out in the group stage of the joke trophy so I think we've had a really, really good season. End of season meeting went well. I just basically sold them the old, we're not going to replace you. You're going to get your chance. And that seemed to appease them. If I was going to go forwards, a goalkeeper is a first thing that I would be looking at. And I would be tempted with a player of Mark Howard's decent standing in League One. But we're not carrying on. So that's that. Let us get our faces into the squad report. So that is how things stand in terms of ability and whatnot. So you can see those there. If you want to pause it, I'll hold it there. And then I'll just move down a bit so you can look at those there. Jolly good. And then selection-wise, so the most appearances this season was Ollie Turton. He was ahead by just the one. It was Callum in second. Harry Davis was a mainstay up until towards the end of the season when I got a bit fed up with his attitude and stuff and dropped him. But Ollie Turton, miles ahead 
in terms of, well, I say miles ahead, he wasn't. He was one ahead. But I'd say Turton and Ainley and Davis pretty far ahead, miles ahead, in terms of appearances. They were the most consistent appearers this season. In terms of goals, Daggers leading the way with 19, 11 for Saunders, 11 for Cooper. Fantastic haul from the two youngsters. Uh, in a back area with nine, uh, then Kawamia with seven, uh, Dunn with seven, Ainley with five, and then Kirk with four, and so on. Then we have assist wise Kawamia taking the lead with 15, closely followed by Enabakair with 13, then Ainley with 10, Cooper with 10, and then we're dropping into single fillers, uh, fillers, single figures, uh, Saunders and Daggers on five apiece, and then four for Turton and Bingham. The average rating with decent amount of performances is Bakioko with 20, uh, 7.26. Uh, Perry Young didn't make as many appearances, but he got a decent 7.25 over those. And then Ainley with a 7.24 after 47 appearances. So he's done really well. There's been some really decent performers in the crew squad this season. Now, in terms of players as to who I would recommend, Callum Ainley has got to be top of the list. He's been an absolute revelation for me this season. He's going to be an amazing player in real life. There's no doubts about it. But uh, he's come in and he's done brilliantly well for me. I mean, he's got 47 appearances, 5 goals, 10 assists. You know, 6 player of the matches awards. And he's got an average rating of 7.24. He's had a cracking season and I'm really, really pleased with the way he's developed and he deserves a move which you would get I mean at the moment I think it's just Newcastle are after him oh no everybody wants him now uh, Newcastle Aston Villa Blackburn Brighton Bristol Cardiff Celtic uh, Brendan Rodgers has actually been to watch him play a couple of times and all those other clubs are all keen on him so we could be able to cash in on that success uh, other players Callum Saunders has been a um, has been a bit of a pleasant surprise in real life he's so prolific at under 21 levels he's ridiculously good but get him in the first team and he just kind of loses it a little bit not been as anywhere near as good as we'd have hoped uh picked up a few injuries though which obviously hasn't helped and it's dropped him down the pecking order again now but uh on this he's been fantastic i mean he's got 11 goals 22 appearances quite a few substitute appearances as well so been really pleased with the way he's gone this season so i'd recommend if you could pick him up pick him up picking him up uh george cooper another one real life finally reaching his potential in real life i think he had a fantastic season on fm for me here with his 11 goals so yeah he's another one i think would be definitely worth a look at of course there's ben garrett who's gone out on loan uh just trying to think if there's anybody else who's caught my eye billy uh billy bingham i saw this guy just looked at billy bingham he's had a good season for it but ryan wintle if you're playing non-league lower league management try and get him on loan really good player really decent uh inner back air was really good for me i mean he, he made he kind of cocked up towards the end of his spell here with his silly back pass, but always forgiven. He came back into the team towards the end and scored a couple of goals and set up a few. So would highly recommend getting him in on loan at this level or lower or maybe a little bit higher if you can. Uh, also, I think that's about it, really. There's no other players that massively stand out. Tom Lowry's been disappointing. I don't think his stats match his ability in real life. That's why he's been so disappointing for me. Alex Kawamia, not as good as he is in real life at running on the ball, cutting in and stuff, but he's a decent player. His finishing is quite low compared to what I think it should be. His first touch is pretty poor on this and his passing. He's a little bit better, but they can't make him too good too early. He has to develop in the game. But he's had a good season for us. So yeah, I'd, I'd recommend him. It says he can't really play here, but I played him there pretty much all season and he did really well for me. So ignore that. He can develop into that role. In terms of the finances, we finish on £519,940. Only joking. I'm joking. You know what I mean. £519,940. Uh, we've finished on, which has been decent. Uh, but that will go up, I'd imagine, with the sale of Ainley, which would happen. There's no doubt about it. There's no way he's stopping. It's it's set in stone. He wants to go. Clubs want him. It's, uh, it's a no-brainer. He's going to go. Uh, so there's that. 
that would come in and obviously the money we get from the promotion and the new league and the TV rights and all the blah de blahs higher gates, we'd be all right, I think. We'd do okay. So all in all, guys, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's been any changes in terms of uh, favourite personnel. D uh, Dario Grady flying the flag high as the legend. Then icons Ashton, Murphy and EK, Nick Powell, Tootle, Doug Dale and Davis. And then favourite personnel, Bakiogo's in there. That's cool. So he's managed to get in there. Along with Maynard, Varney, Luke Murphy, Ben Garrett. Neil Lennon and Robbie Hulse. So that's that. That's the end of the beta save. I've enjoyed it. There's been times when I've wanted to rip my hair out. But we've had a good run. We've had uh, some fantastic performances. I mean, a 6-2 against Cambridge isn't something to be sniffed at. Why does it do this? Answer, why does it do that when it only, at the start, allows you to go to there and you have to come out the page and come back in again? It's very inconsiderate. And then that amazing live comp, the 5-1 against Yeovil, that was superb. But all in all, we've had a we've had a good season and I've really enjoyed it. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this series as much as I have. I hope that you've um, found it kind of helpful in having a little look at the beta and making you either decide yay or nay on whether to to sign the game up on a permanent deal um and also whether or not to do one as crew it's enjoyable you get great youth players you know if you put the time and the effort in you do it you get some amazing players it's achievable to get promoted first season you've seen me do it first time making very few signings and losing james jones and ben garrett who were two massive key players for us so it's doable guys Thank you for watching as always. Please hit that like button if you've enjoyed this. Let's see if we can't smash the likes for the final episode. I'd really appreciate it. If you're new, I hope you've enjoyed this series. Please stick around. We've got some really cool stuff coming up for the remainder of FM17. And for the final time on this beta save, guys, it's been a pleasure being in your face. Bye-bye. <laughs>